Hey, hey, it's around here. Welcome to another Canva tutorial where my virtual assistant is going to show you how to convert your Canva PNG images or presentation or whatever creation you have on Canva and convert it into Google Slides. Now, this is a question that came from somebody in my tech support membership, which is why I wanted to record a video for my member to be able to help her with her tech question. And also, I felt this video might be helpful for you in case you're on YouTube searching for this type of question, and I figured it might be helpful for you as well. If you're interested to learn about my tech support membership, I'll tell you a little bit about it in the end. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to my virtual assistant, who will actually show you exactly how to convert your PNG images or Canva slides over to Google Slides. So go ahead and turn it over to her. Enjoy. Hi there, Rose here. Here's how you can convert your PNG files or your image files to a Google slide. Please note that this tutorial is only applicable if you originally edited your image inside Canva. So to start, go ahead and pull up your Canva account and then open the editor for your image files. Once you're inside the editor, click on resize on the upper left corner. If not suggested, go ahead and type in on the search bar presentation, and then we'll choose four by three. Now go ahead and click on continue and click on resize to a presentation four by three. Once you've done that, it will open a new tab, which you'll notice that it already converted your image files to presentation slides. Now you don't want to customize this yet. The next thing that you want to do is click on share, click on download, change the file type to PPTX, which is for Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, and then go ahead and download the slides. Once you're done downloading the slide, go ahead and open your Google Drive account so we can convert it to Google Slides. Inside Google Drive, click on new and then choose file upload. Find the file that you just downloaded earlier and click on open. Once you finish uploading, click on the file and then it should open a new tab which will automatically convert the presentation to Google Slides. Now, this is where you'll make your edit. Anything that you think that is not positioned correctly, you can just go ahead and move it around and customize it depending on your preference. If this is something that you would like to share, once you're done customizing, go ahead and click on share on the upper right corner. Under general access, click on restricted, and then choose the other option, which is anyone with a link. Once you've done that, it will give you an option whether you want people to access this as a viewer, as a commenter, or an editor. For this example, I'll keep it as a viewer, and then go ahead and click on copy link, and this link is now what you'll share to anyone who needs access to the slides. You can also test it by clicking on the three dots on the upper right corner of your browser and then click on New Incognito Window. Paste that, it will show you how it looks like on the viewer's end. And that's how you do it. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Hope you found value in this. If you did, leave the comment value just so I get some feedback about whether these types of tutorials are helpful to you. And I will definitely record more tutorials to do with Canva or my virtual assistant will to be able to answer more questions as well. There's a playlist somewhere around here to do with Canva as well. You're welcome to check it out. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about the tech support membership. So if you're in my membership and you ask a question like this, we would record a video for you. But also, you would actually hop on a Zoom call with my virtual assistant, the one that recorded this video. And she will actually walk you through and show you where to click and things along these lines. So if this is something that you might find valuable for you, if you're working online and you might be struggling with technology and you want somebody kind of in your back pocket to be able to ask questions anytime and maybe even hop on a Zoom call whenever you're stuck, then my tech support membership might be for you. So you can go to a run.link forward slash DCT to check it out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks all for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.